Today, we need to get into our new military police and what happened there. We need to get into Jungkook possibly being scared to go home after fans are saying someone broke into his home. And then we have a shirtless live stream being talked about and circulating. So, don't please it's Dave Desai. Hate it or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Go ahead and blend the Facebook mug merch and let's go. There's a video that is going really viral and people are debating what this means and what to make of it. If you're not aware, there is a live stream where Jungkook laid in bed shirtless and was talking to everyone. I believe this was the stream in which millions of people decided to tune in and watch him take a nap. Right before the nap, I think some of the members tuned in such as Jimin. He of course interacted with Jimin, which I will get into later. Just for some context, the members of Jungkook and Tam have always been shipped together to the point where the internet will take moments and say, well, they were spotted together for dinner and then equate that to the fact that they are dating. The idea of them dating or believing that they are is not problematic in and of itself. It's when the belief is the only reason you support BTS and also the reason for sending hate or hate comments to anyone. Recently, I've been more vocal about that side of the subculture and open about how I feel about some of these people to which I get messages and comments telling me to go die because the ship is real and all that. That is the problem I am addressing. If me sitting here stating my opinion bothers you that much, then that is the problem. Because whatever my opinion is, if you believe your opinion is correct, mine shouldn't matter. Also, this idea of sending hate using the names of BTS members is the whole problem. And then they sometimes use examples that are quite strange and clouded. One person was arguing that the two are dating because Jungkook replies to Tang's comments during the live streams. Any member choosing to join a live stream with their fellow bandmate is doing so to support the other member and make the stream a much more interesting and fun experience. On the other side, when people argue that Jungkook and Taehyung have responded and even done live streams together, people in the fandom were saying that moments where Jungkook responds back to Jimin or any of the other BTS members on the stream are being completely ignored. People were taking moments where Jungkook was shirtless in bed during that stream and saying that he must feel more romantic to Jimin because he was asking if people wanted him to go over to Jimin's apartment and do the stream together. However, I do think that this point was just made to combat the people who are essentially sending threats and it's to say that Jungkook seems to love all members and doesn't specifically have a preference or a romantic preference. He was just excited over that idea that one of his members might be free the same time that he was free during his stream and wanted to go over and have a fun stream together. Keep in mind this was around the time that Jungkook had nothing to do. He was spending his days and time to himself and thus decided to hop on the stream and spend hours with ARMY. He was likely just craving any sort of interaction at that point. But speaking of interaction, if you want to join me and fellow dumplings in reacting to several K-pop videos, come check us out on Patreon. We still have a limited spot, $1 tier open, and I'll link that at the very top of the description. So I hope to see you there. But anyway, now that Jungkook is enlisted in the military, we don't really have that issue of him being lonely as I doubt he will ever actually be alone at all. It seems he has recently made some friends as there was a photo that came out of him recently with his face slightly bundled and he was leaning on both Jimin and a soldier friend for the photo. However, that is not the only photo that have come out from the military, but people are spotting that there is a new Tang photo and people are very excited on what this could potentially mean. So if you are unaware, both Jin and J-Hope had risen up in the military in terms of status very fast. It set this precedent that any of the members who may get enlisted should also be at this high rank and either become a drill instructor like Jin did or become a trainer. As the other members followed suit and joined the camp, except Suga, they were also put under this sort of of expectation that they needed to rise up fast as well. Very quickly there was a photo that appeared of Tang and this was only a few weeks after enlistment and we see that Tang has risen up very fast as well. A photo came out from the cam and then some news sites very quickly reported that Tang was no longer an ordinary soldier but promoted to special mission military police. Now this is a very interesting position I want to talk more about and I think people are going to be shocked to hear what the responsibilities of this will include because we hear police and we might think is that actually actually the job? And sort of yes. So Tan will receive higher, more skilled level training. The job will be him being equipped to solve bigger threats. He will be responsible for providing VIP security for those who need VIP and probably for the leaders at the military camp or wherever he will be headed after training. He will also be trained to do riot control and then there may be overlap with supporting other military branches should they need his support. And this is such a big deal for many reasons. It shows everyone that he can take 
take care of himself and those who threaten to send death threats or attack him will definitely be thinking twice before doing that since he could literally end them. So idols get crazy people calling him bomb threats all the time at concerts and this will be something that he will likely be trained in and prepared for when he comes back out into the world as an idol. I also somewhat secretly believe this is his way of fighting back with the haters and saying his words to the haters like come at me now. And this military experience will also make people think twice about evading the member's personal space. I know every male idol has gone through military training but the fact of the matter is that their military training is not this public. And since BTS's training and their status is very public, people are actually going to be aware of how strong they will be. I mean, they could literally quit singing and just become high-end security or high-end FBI agents, or at least with Taehyung's training, he would be able to do that easily. Recently, there has been a lot of concern over the BTS boys' safety and what that could mean for the boys. Quarterly, Hybe releases a statement to talk about the legal proceedings that happened between that statement and the previous one. For this statement, there was actually a lot that happened and people have assumptions on what Hybe is referring to. There was an incident that was believe that a HYBE staff had impersonated BTS and stole millions of dollars. Legal action seems appropriate there. And then there was a report of Sasing stalking one of BTS members. This was believed to be the incident with Tang in the elevator. However, when HYBE said several and multiple times, people were thinking that the letter might be referring to Jungkook as well. After all, Jungkook's address was believed to be leaked and he got food sent to his door. I find it hard to believe someone wouldn't have attempted to show up at his door. People were saying that a Sasang probably broke into Jungkook's house and then got arrested or sued by Hybe. It's definitely possible. However, I do believe that if someone broke in, it probably would have been documented and be very well known. I don't think the first time we'd hear about that would be through a Hybe statement. For example, Tan getting his stalker that followed him into the elevator arrested, that was on the news like within the next day. I do believe Jungkook is okay and he has not stopped. However, I can understand if he is scared and would be scared to go home in fear that there might be some person just chilling in his apartment. But what I think Hive actually meant by their statement was that Taehyung must have been repeatedly harassed or attacked by the same stalker. I doubt if it was one time and the stalker just said hi in an elevator and left, would there have been an arrest? Yeah, the stalker could have been stalking Taehyung, but Taehyung can't prove stalking if it's one interaction. That could be chalked up to a coincidence. Meeting someone once is just a stranger, but seeing the same person many times in private situations is a stalker. So Taehyung must have had a lot of evidence. And when the alleged stalker handed Tang the marriage papers, that was like his chance to get a restraining order on her and everything because he literally had her information. And I honestly can't even fathom how stupid you have to be to be doing something that is known to be illegal and then handing the person you're harming your literal name, phone number, address, and everything. Like this woman fully believed that Tang was in love with her too and that they were going to get married because she clearly didn't see him as a threat or a means to get arrested. I think both Tang and Jungkook after the military will be able to fight these types of people themselves. And even before the military, I don't think anyone would be brave enough to attempt to break into Jungkook's apartment because y'all see what he can do to a punching bag, right? He could do that to someone's face. But anyway, it's clear that for a lot of these stalkers, their brain isn't completely there. And so they do whatever they think is okay and the things that will end them up in jail or possibly getting severely hurt in the future. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos linked down below. Thanks for the comment right here. Love you, bye.